welcome back guys to this series on creating packages so far we have been able to create our own package inside the packages folder my package name is survey I have a service provider which registers the route right and I have two routes in here so if I go to Chrome this is my first route right and this is my second route okay both are different it's a response return and it's just a string now in this video what we are going to do is create a controller and you know make them handle this request and then load some views as well so inside source let me first create http controllers and then survey controller okay The namespace will be survey HTTP controllers, All right? That's what is there in the routes file. So yeah, um, sorry, class will be survey controller. That should extend the controller all right and then I'll have my index method copy this and now with this thing done I think we should see so we are doing name space namespace is this so yeah let's see the test is working and this is not it says class survey http controllers survey controller does not exist hmm that's a little strange i think let me do a composer dump autoload and right yeah it's coming right yeah so i think uh, it was not registering because of the dump out load so even this one we can go something like survey let me first copy the response okay and in the controller let's have the test method and this is the response so in here I'll go and so these two routes are working with controller now okay and the next thing which we need to do is inside our service provider um, this load views from yes now i generally get this wrong many times let me see so when we do did the directory we then did routes then web.php right and ideally this is my source okay inside the survey folder right the main folder i'll have uh, resources views let's say index.blade.php why don't we do survey index.blade.php oh uh, messed it up refactor hey didn't create a file i instead created a folder so yeah this is okay and i can have i am coming okay so i need to load this right so what i will do is um i'm here so maybe this and no this dot this and then resources right views i'll call this survey okay so this is a short name which i can now use inside my controller 
and say return view um, survey index i think yeah that's that's how it will work um, yes so as you can see now we have our views coming into the picture i can also create the second one which is actually i don't need uh, anyways so blade dot php this is test and inside my controller i'll have test so hmm view name not found So yes, this is how you know we can have our package utilize its own controllers and views uh, to you know, handle the requests. Um, oh, by the way, we were just uh, looking at the test thing, right? So why is the test not working? So this is um, survey test. blade all right okay yeah so i'm sorry <laughs> uh, so yeah the best thing is you know let's say we have this uh, package which has uh, certain views and you know uh, later on we um, impl someone implemented this package and he is not very happy with the uh, view uh, part of it you know he wants to change the markup so i think what we can do is um i think it was inside vendor if i'm not wrong uh, i'll have to check if the documentation doesn't i mean if this isn't this doesn't work so vendor survey and i think then if i can do test dot blade dot php this is from default views let me see if that actually comes through Okay, I'll do a composer dump autoload. And yeah, so you can see what has happened is Laravel will check for a view inside vendor survey, I mean inside vendor and then the package name and then the exact, uh, you know, Thing. So if I had a folder in here and then test.blade.php then inside survey I should have that folder and then test.php uh, test.blade.php but yeah this is how I have overridden my template from the one which came from the package so yeah we have that control you know we can give the users the control to play around with the variables and have his own markup instead of our if, instead of our markup so yeah that's about it for this video stay tuned for you know more updates on this uh, series and yeah if you like the videos do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel um if you have any good ideas about other um you know tutorials on laravel and view maybe you can definitely uh, post a comment in the discussion section and i will definitely you know uh, try and create a video out of it so yeah, thanks again.